Uh, hi guys, I little bit uh, my time is going wasted to setting this uh, this open board on this OBS software. Okay, that's why I delayed this lecture. Uh, okay, we'll start the lecture. That is lecture number twenty five. Now in the today's lecture, we'll see after understanding the vapor pressure and cavitation. Okay, we will see how there are many pressure measuring devices. Okay, from that today we will see what the piezometer is and what the barometer is. Okay, later we will go on to the YouTube manometer like this, differential manometer, YouTube manometer. Okay, that thing we will see in subsequent classes. Okay, now <coughs> uh, see the pressure measuring devices. Let me put the heading pressure. pressure measuring devices see the first pressure measuring device is uh that is a piezometer okay we will see the certain advantage disadvantage of this piezometer okay piezometer and how it looks like See, suppose if I take a, a ball shape like this, okay, and in this, okay, uh, there is the tube. See, this is what the the cross section I have taken in which the liquid flowing through the water. Okay, now suppose this is a pipe, right? And this is the pipe, and in the pipe I cut this and I insert this tube, right? See, if I insert this tube because of the pressure in the pipe. the pressure will raise here like this okay this is my piezometer that is just see it is a straight glass tube what the piezometer is piezometer is a straight like this straight glass tube is a straight straight glass tube glass tube right this is a, a piezometer in this suppose the here see here it is exposed to the atmosphere the, here it is a piece patm right suppose i have to calculate the pressure at the point a suppose this is what the point p inside the pipe see this is my initially the pipe right the pipe the liquid is flowing through this pipe right the outside pressure is patm right and this is the inside pressure that is a pa right here i will call it as a pa pressure now see the pressure at a is higher than patm right so this height will raise this is what the height raise will get because of this pressure it is not because of the capillarity okay keep it in mind the capillarity is totally different thing right here the, uh, the the diameter of the this piezometer pipe that is a straight glass tube pipe which is uh, okay if this height we can easily measure right if the pre, if this pressure is sufficient to raise the water level at this then we can calculate this height now see uh, the patm let me write here that is a patm p atmospheric plus rho gh right rho gh is equal to p okay means a pa minus patm is equal to rho gh right means a p gauge pressure at a is equal to rho gh right this thing you clear now this is how by measuring this height right we know this density of the fluid which is flowing inside the pipe and also the g is constant this thing we know right <coughs> now we can easily calculate this uh, gauge pressure over here how much gauge pressure means which gauge pressure which is above the atmospheric pressure right that is what the gauge pressure okay we can uh, calculate this okay <coughs> see there are certain advantages and disadvantages of this okay those we will see what are the limitations of this see the advantage what this is too much very least not that much expensive right and the limitation which is the disadvantage the limitation with this limitation of piezometer is one the first one is <coughs> it cannot be used to measure high pressure right it cannot be used cannot be used to measure high pressure 
it cannot be used to measure high pressure right see if the pressure is too much high right then this h will increases right so you cannot use for a high pressure for low pressure you can use it now the one more one more limitation with this is when this uh, p absolute right is less than p atmosphere right means you cannot use it in this case can't use it means there is a vacuum pressure for this case this is what the vacuum pressure right vacuum pressure is there then in case of the vacuum pressure how can you, you cannot use this height right there will be a loss uh, there is a fall of the liquid like this so you cannot get this height okay and also one more thing with this which is disadvantage you cannot use it cannot be used it cannot be used to measure gas pressure gas pressure see if you put uh, this is what this uh, the tube the other end is open to the atmospheric pressure okay if the gas flows then the gas will easily goes like this right so you cannot use this for uh, gas pressure it is only used for the liquid which is uh, for low pressure now next is the barometer okay see the barometer the next type of pressure measuring device is a barometer barometer see the, this barometer is uh, developed by uh, this uh, name of the scientist is Torricelli which is Torricelli okay and this is a he is a Italian scientist and this barometer usually it is used for it is used for it is used to measure atmospheric pressure right atmospheric pressure okay see suppose how how this works uh, let me explain this see suppose i have take a tank like this right here uh, here suppose the liquid is filled in this like this okay and if I take uh, one uh, tube like this and in this see in this he used a okay the it is fully filled by a mercury okay this liquid is also mercury okay if this uh, tube which is filled with the mercury if I put a uh, fingers or hands uh, or fingers on this okay thumb I will put here and what I will do uh, I will insert with here in this leg see here what I will do here uh, in this the same container is here okay in this I would invert this tube okay I will invert this tube like this and what happen if I invert this there will be little pressure uh, little gap is here okay means this gap is of the vacuum you understood this this is let me draw this little bit the end is not looking that much I need to take it a semi circular like this okay now it's good yeah see this is what the gap right now before inverting this is purely filled now there is a gap okay here there is a vacuum comes here vacuum vacuum is created in this gap okay and this liquid is mercury mercury okay this is also mercury right and if I inverted this then the vacuum will come here and so this is what the height right I will gain this height I need to measure this height okay uh, <coughs> Uh, see if I see the pressure suppose this, this if I consider this is a point 1 okay and this is a point 2 the inside let me draw it see these are the points okay this is my point 1 and this is point 2 here okay see if it is a vacuum then it is a pressure is 0 here okay uh, 
the, from that see the point p1 is uh, right p1 is equal to p2 right because these all are in the same level horizontal level so the pressure will be same and this is equal to the atmospheric pressure clear and now if i write the uh, find the height this then what i will get let me do it in, go into the next slide see uh, uh, see the this is a rho m that is a mercury density of the mercury into g into h okay which is equal to the p atmospheric pressure because here zero right Be uh, p atm you understood this why it is zero here this is what the vacuum pressure vacuum pressure okay i i see i am coming from here at this point the pressure is zero okay i am coming down means i have to add this right the p zero p plus this rho g h rho, rho is of liquid right h and this h here okay this uh, up to po this point i'll reach that is this point is uh, th that is a p2 point and here the pressure is atmospheric pressure okay you know i think no doubt up till now that is now we'll get that is p1 is equal to p2 is equal to p atmospheric is equal to rho m g h this is how the pressure okay is uh, calculated right see even though there is a here the pressure see the the, the there is a little bit uh, pressure of the, this uh, vacuum uh, vapor pressure of this uh, see every liquid uh, in the vapor pressure topic we have already discussed that every liquid has a tendency to vaporize right so here and once it vaporize then it will it apply pressure if it is enclosed right else it will goes out here there is a little this is not equal to zero exactly the, there is a little pressure of this little vapor pressure of this mercury right and the vapor pressure of the mercury is very less so this is this tends to zero you understood this and this is why it is taken for uh, uh, why it is taken the mercury is liquid selected for the barometric in order to measure the pressure of the atmospheric by the uh, torsion okay rather he will take the water also why it is not taken the water because there are many reasons the height of the water will be column water column will be very high if you take the water right uh, compared to the uh, level rise by the mercury because the density of the mercury is uh, too much high right compared to the density of the water okay see from this i will calculate the height here how i calculate see the h is equal to right h is equal to here uh, the p atmospheric how much the p atmospheric that is a 101.325 right divided by uh, this density of uh, mercury is it is 13 uh, 13600 right into 9.81 from this we will get the value that is 0 0.76 meter okay you understood this this is how we can measure the see this meter i can convert also uh, see this is what in case of the mercury this much height you will get see if you use the water instead of mercury then you will get how much height see this is what a 7.66 means around it's 760 millimeter we will get right this this height will get if you use the mercury if you use the water then see how much height will get okay in the water case water as fluid in order to measure the density uh, in order to measure the atmospheric pressure right h that is 101.325 divided by the density of the water is 1000 right into 9.81 from this we will get 10.3 meter right see means this much height the water will raise right so we are using the uh, uh, okay we are using in order to check the atmospheric we are using um, uh, the mercury uh, mercury okay the mercury as a fluid we are using to measure the atmospheric pressure okay you understood this i think you understood this now
सी नाउ वन मोर दूनिट कन्वर्जन दैट इज वन एम एम ऑफ एच जी राइट वन एम एम ऑफ एच जी इज इक्वल टू वन टॉर आलो राइट इन द ऑनर ऑफ दिस साइंटिस्ट दैट इज अ टॉरिसली राइट सो दिस यूनिट यू कीप इन रिमेबर मीन्स वन एम एम ऑफ मीन्स सेवन सिक्सटी एम एम ऑफ एच जी मीन्स दैट इज सेवन सिक्सटी ऑफ टॉर ओके यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दैट thing okay now why we will see the reason to be used of mercury in the barometer huh? reason why mercury why hg that is a mercury is used okay see you, you already seen if we use the water then 10.3 meter height will raise and if you use the mercury right this is in case of mercury used okay the 0.76 so small length height a uh, tube we can required okay you know in order to measure this the first one is why it is used the low vapor pressure right the mercury has low vapor pressure vapor pressure the other thing the second is uh, it, it has a mercury has high density right high density high density means the height requirement is less right height requirement of tube is less the glass tube which are we are using the less glass tube you can use it with the help of this okay you understood this mm. <sighs> now see up till now what we have learned we have seen the two types of pressure measuring devices right that is one is a piezometer which we can use it for the liquids and for low pressures right we cannot use for gas the piezometer it is closed okay now we see the barometer how we can measure the pressure of the atmospheric pressure right that thing also we have seen okay now <coughs> now the next thing we have to see is uh, see one one interesting thing the phenomena occurring here i i like to explain you here see suppose uh, let me take once more this diagram suppose this is what okay this is the tube okay uh, this is the container in which the mercury is here it is a mercury hg and see this is a inverted tube in order to measure the atmospheric which we have inserted right this is what the vapor pressure see if i make the hole here okay then what will okay and what will happen whether this mercury comes out or it falls down we will see that right see let me for that i will take the free body diagram of this okay i will take the free body diagram of this, of this glass tube see here uh, uh, see after making the glass here the pressure will be at the atmospheric pressure right this is a patm and see at this level okay at this level there is a fluid fluid uh, there is the fluid mercury is here okay here also there is a atmospheric pressure because this point suppose if i take this point 1 right and this is this this point as a 2 the both points 1 and 2 are same level so here also p atm the one more force which is acting that is a, this weight of this column right that is a w He, if i balance this from the period and what i will get means p atm right the vertical forces plus this w uh, uh, plus this w also acting which is equal to the this uh, uh, p atm outward right means p atm upward okay means uh, this downward and this upward right uh, um, see i am going to bear i have to balance the forces so i have to write the area here right this area into i have to multiply this also the area is same here and here also okay uh, see now uh, the patm patm into a is equal to p atmospheric into a right and this term uh, it goes this side then it will get uh, minus rho g right a into h right this is uh, uh, the weight means the weight of this column is rho g the density that is a specific weight into volume times right the volume is area into h 
see in order to make these two terms equal right height has to go to zero right means the density cannot zero the atmosphere pressure also cannot zero and this g is also cannot zero right means height has to go zero means this height whatever this height is there right this height has to come down and the cross sectional area of this is a right this height has to come down means if i draw a hole here then whatever the uh, mercury level raised by because of the atmospheric pressure height right this height this height becomes equal to zero and all the liquids comes to this place okay see the final result if you make the hole here right in the tube glass tube okay then uh, the level will be this is a tube right the level will be comes here right if there is a hole here you understood this in order to balance this forces i think you guys understood this okay now what we will do we will stop for the today's class in the tomorrow's class we will continue with this pressure measuring device first we will take the youtube manometer okay okay guys uh, please like the like the video share with your friends and comments and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching bye